good morning students welcome back to your english online class today i have taken a grammar topic that is modal auxiliaries so in this lecture we are going to study about the meaning of modal auxiliaries along with their uses and examples all although you all have been provided with the video on modal auxiliaries previously so it's just a quite we are you know a quick revision of whatever we have seen in that video okay so let us start with the meaning of modal auxiliaries first so let us start with our topic so first of all what do we mean by modal auxiliaries these are the verbs such as can must could would should which are used with the main verbs to express the ideas such as possibility permission necessity and obligation etc so these are the verbs which are used as helping verbs with the main verbs to express such ideas whether the possibility or to seek for permission necessity or obligation your duties so now we are going to study about each one of them in detail their uses along with their examples so let us start with must and have to so must is used for all persons in present and future tenses it can be used for all the persons negative of must is must not or mustn't the interrogative form is must i with a question mark must has no infinitive and no past tense must ka koi infinitive form nahi hota and it is not having any past tense it is followed by the infinitive without to right and it is used to express obligation obligation means your duties like you must obey your parents since it's our duty to obey our parents so must is used right next you must go to school in time we all should be on time everywhere so you must must is used to express our duties or obligations we which we all must do next it is used to express compulsion that is ordering someone to do something because it is necessary or important to do so right it is to express compulsion which is compulsory jo cheez zaruri hai wo aapko karni hi hai you must answer all questions you have to like you know again karna hi hai wo kaam aapko next it is used for saying that something is probably true because nothing else seems possible like you must be tired after your long journey so it's inference ki जब आप लॉन्ग जर्नी करके आओगे तो यू मस्ट बी टायर्ड हो गए ही आप राइट सो मस्ट इज यूज इन दिस केस ऑल्सो द नेगेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ मस्ट विच इज मस्ट नॉट और मस्ट नट इज यूज फॉर प्रोहिबिशन प्रोहिबिशन मीन्स द थिंग्स विच यू विच वी शुड नॉट डू यू मस्ट नॉट कम हेयर यू मस्ट नॉट यूज द ऑफिस फोन फॉर प्राइवेट कॉल्स जो चीज़ आपको नहीं करनी चाहिए फॉर प्रोहिबिशन राइट सो फॉर दैट वी यूज मस्ट नॉट और मस्ट नट राइट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज must is also used to give emphatic advice now what are emphatic advices emphatic advice means the things which are to be done with determination okay like where emphasis is required like she must consult a doctor at once you must work hard if you want to get good marks the things you must do with emphasis or focus to attain some result right must and have to or had to have to like must expresses obligation in the present while had to does so in the past must expresses an obligation imposed by speaker have to had to express external obligations must means jo speaker keh raha hai right must is used to impose obligation by the speaker whereas have to had to expresses external bahar ki koi obligations an obligation by some authority kisi authority ne kaha hai kuch karne ke liye i must reach there in time the speaker himself feels so is speaker ko khud ko lag raha hai that he must be there in time you must reach in time ordered to do so by some external authority had to is used when describing something belonging to the past he had to go early to catch the train had to is used to pre, uh, you know impose any obligation of past okay so he had to go early to catch the train so had to is used so it is denoting past have to had to have to expresses obligation and necessarily in present had to does so in past she has to quick after her mother she has to look after her mother he had to finish his work before 
5 pm so again has to is representing present tense and had to past tense okay they are used for giving advice first you have to mix the water and then the sugar they are also used for advice okay she had to take those pills to get better so have to and had to are also expressing obligation they are used for giving advice also and they are used to draw logical conclusions also conclusions means at the end kya hua right results like there has to be some reason for his mischief right okay so there has to be hona hi chahiye koi na koi reason hona hi chahiye for his mischief right this has to be part of the whole plan this has to be ki hona hi chahiye ye pure plan ka ek part hona chahiye next have to is used for supposition or to describe something based on possible ideas or situations you will have to work very hard to stand first now this is uh, regarding the situation right you are having a situation that to stand first you have to stand first so you will have to aapko karna hi padega you will have to work hard very hard to stand first so they are used for possible ideas or situations to describe something based on these situations right and they also indicate something which is very important we have to be more careful in future we have to be more careful in future so it is very important to be careful in future so have to is used now let's talk about the other modal auxiliary that is should it is the past tense of shall and in indirect form of speech shall changes into should this you all know i uh, i said i shall go to the school tomorrow i said that i should go to school the next day right so this is the past form of shall should is used to express obligation as well as duties you should look after your parents you should pay your taxes next it is also used to give advice or suggestions you should consult a doctor you should go to yoga exercises daily he should learn english if he wants to get a good job right so it is also used to ex- uh, give advice or suggestions it is used to express purpose mohan walked fast so that he should catch the train the reason or the purpose of doing something so mohan walked fast why because he wanted to catch the train so he should catch the train and it is also used as to static imaginary results like to to st- it is to you know state such results right imaginary results which we think will happen if such a situation arises like he should get angry if he had come to know about it ki agar unhe pata chala that is a situation imaginary situation pata nahi chala abhi so in that case he should get angry angry hona chahiye use so it is used to express polite request these are used you know should is used also used to express polite requests like i should be thankful if you give me some money so it's like polite request so he is just requesting so please give me money so i should you know in that case i should i would be your or i should be thankful to you right okay now let's talk about the another auxiliary which is need as a modal verb need is usually followed by an infinitive without to this is the only thing you need do the modal verb need is mainly used in questions and negatives which are formed without do need i go now you need not go so without to the negative need not is often shortened to needn't so negative hota hai need not is shortened to needn't in conversations and informal writings need does not change its form so the third person singular of first ten of present tense does not end in s he need not go there so it would not be like he needs not because this needs is different and the verb we are using is different so it needs would not be used in this the modal verb need has no past tense but it can be used in pattern followed by a past participle need not have needn't have you needn't have waited for me needn't have means need not have zarurat nahi thi aapko wait karne ki the negative need not express absence of obligation they need not send the letter now that means the person did not finish his obligation obligation or duty of sending the letter 
you need not go it is not necessary for you to go there need is used to express obligation or necessity also like need i attend the class today like is it necessary to attend the class today so it also expresses the obligations or necessity right now let's come to the next one which is ought ought is usually followed by to and an infinitive like you ought to tell the truth it does not change its form so that the third person singular form does not end in s she ought to work a little harder it can be used as a present past or future tense the negative is again ought not or oughtn't and the interrogative is ought i question mark or ought you or ought he etc depends on the person ought i do it at once ki shall i do it at once kya main ek bari mein kar lu okay he ought not dis disobey his teachers that he should not nahi karna chahiye wo kaam got it so this is about ought now ought to ought to is used for expressing the right or the sensible thing to do or the right way to behave you ought to get up early that it is the right way jo cheez sahi hai wo karni chahiye you ought to get up early you ought to exercise daily teachers ought not smoke before students so these are the things which are to be done which are the right thing or sensible jo cheeze hoti hain ought to is used when we behave we believe strongly or expect that something will happen जो बिलीव करते हैं स्ट्रॉगली कि ऐसा होगा ही द इंडियन टीम ऑट टू वन दे बिलीव कि उनको लगता है ऐसा बिलीव करते हैं वो दैट द इंडियन टीम वो वन सतीश ऑट टू पास द मीटिंग ऑट टू हैव फिनिश्ड बाय टू ओ क्लॉक ऑट टू सी हियर मीट एक्सेट्रा इज यूज फॉर एम्फोसाइज हाउ गुड इम्प्रेसिव और अनयूजल समथिंग और समवन इज लाइक यू ऑट टू सी देयर न्यू हाउस सो आपको उनका हाउस देखना ही चाहिए so that might be either good or bad so ought to easily use why you ought to meet his elder brother that he might be good looking that's why the person is saying to look him or to meet him right ought must have to and should there's a note ought is used to express the subject's obligation or duty but it indicates neither the speaker's authority as with must nor an outside authority as with have to speaker is only reminding the subject of his duty speaker just subject ko apni duty remind kara rahe obligation remind kara rahe besides this he is giving advice or indicating a correct or sensible action that the speaker or uh, that the subject should do so ought can be used in exactly the same way as should jaise should hum use karte hain to tell the subject that you should do this same way we can use ought that the he should do it another auxiliary is will which is used in second person and third person to express certainty you will begin the work tomorrow certainty the thing which will happen in modern english there is a tendency to use will in all the persons to indicate future tense request promise determination habit and characteristics to show future tense my friend will come tomorrow to express request will you have coffee next is for the for the promise I will take care of your brother. So it's a promise that he will do so. To 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 show the determination, they will fight to finish. To show the habit, she will be talking all the time with no work. To show characteristics, this machine will work very well and will not give any trouble. Features, right? So important note is there the force of shall or will. The college will remain closed. it is possible that it may be closed the college shall remain closed it is promised or ordered that the college will re- will remain closed i shall not help you i am not going to help you i will help you i am determined not to help you i am determined to help you okay this is how shall or will differs next is would it is used to indicate past tense of will he said he would be back soon it is to express wish or desire to express wish or desire to express future in past like she asked me if i would held her it is used to show past habits for request to express preference or determination with rather rather die than beg so preference bata rahe it's better to die then to beg for something now let's come to can it is used to seek or grant permission permission lene ke liye for possibility 
to show ability these are the uses of can may can also be used instead of can but can is generally used as it is less formal than may can indicates theoretical possibility and may a factual possibility so can is mostly used right okay now next is could it is used to indicate past tense of can to show possibility for permission again for polite requests and conditional possibility conditional means in which you have a condition if i had the money i could buy a new house so only if he had money condition kya hai if money hai then only buy a new house now may is used for permission may i come in and to show the possibility also for showing purpose and to show formal wish may god bless you may his soul rest in peace so formal wish right so these are the uses of may next let's study about might it is used to indicate past tense of may to show possibility again and to show the purpose might is used got it everyone like he worked hard so that he might win purpose ke liye kyun work hard kiya so that he might win okay now let's talk about dare dare as a modal auxiliary means be bold enough to it is commonly used in interrogative and negative sentences can be used with do did he how dare you fight with me so you know it showed boldness does he dare to fight with me again it's an interrogative and it also shows courage courage to do something so these are the uses of dare okay so these are the modal auxiliaries that we generally use so these are the models at a glance you can go through all the models along with their usage i hope you have got the chapter thank you